great to see you, man. Thanks for joining us. No, I appreciate it, man. Uh, glad to be here. Glad to be in the boot, man. Couldn't leave just yet. Uh, yeah, tell me. I guess, I guess that's a that's a that's a great way to start. Is um, what what was Baton Rouge like for you? I guess when you initially went to the portal and decided to come here, uh, and then you know last year all the adversity you faced, and then having a decision to go back into the portal and decided to come back. What what, what was that process kind of like, and and what has Baton Rouge meant to you? Uh, like the first time it was COVID, so I didn't I didn't get to come see. So uh, it really was just me just taking a chance. So I took a chance with uh, Coach Wade and coaching staff, LSU and the team we had last year. So that's what kind of brought me here. I feel like I would have been comfortable playing with them. Uh, kind of knew my role, knew what I had to step in and do, and just wanted to come in and be a leader. And uh, you know that came a little short when I tore my ACL, but. Um, you know, with everything that happened last year, the crazy timeline, man, there's a lot that happened. But, yeah, ended up back in the portal, and, shoot, that was crazy. Had my head hurting, man. But, <laughs> yeah, but uh, ultimately decided to stay. Um, man, it's just, man, it, it came down to a lot of things. But it was really a hard decision. This was harder than, shoot, probably my coming coming out of high school and last year's uh, last year being in the portal. So, yeah, it was tough. Um, I'd imagine it was. What, what what was the challenges this time that that was the, the toughest part? I was I was thinking about your decision, but I mean you had so much to weigh this time around. I think well, like first off, like every school was hitting me up at first. Mm -hmm. Like it was like fast and slow, then fast and slow. It's like okay, and everybody's like okay, keep holding off, keep holding off. I'm like all right, all right, no more. <laughs> longer it kept going the more stressed out I was getting but mm -hmm. you know what it is what it is it, 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 I had to do it like I, well, I felt like I had to do it um so yeah uh the new coaching staff here they re-recruited me um they did their they did their job uh they got my mom on board got my people on board and then um you know TCU and it came down to the two coach Dixon was my uh head yeah. coach for my USA basketball team and Man, you know what I'm saying? He really wanted me to come there and, you know, help that team out, help them win. They, they're going to be a good team next season, too. Mm -hmm. They're going to be really, really good. Top 25 on dang near every um, big site. So uh, it was hard making the decision, man. But, you know, ultimately now I'm like, let me trust this coaching staff. And I was like, I, I it was kind of like, I was like, dang, what do I want to be remembered for? It was like at one point in time, like, I want to be remembered for something. And I was like, I think I, I could do that. You know what I'm saying? Showing I came back, battling my adversity that I've been through with my ACL. You know what I'm saying? Doing what I want to do out of LSU. And I wanted to stay in the SEC. Yeah. Yeah. Um, one of the names that we kept hearing pop up for you last year of a guy that you had formed a relationship with was Sean Eddy, mm -hmm. the athletic trainer for LSU basketball. He's kind of a guy behind the scenes that nobody knows, but he's been there for 20-plus years. Um, can, can you talk about what that rehabilitation process was like for you the relationship you formed with Eddie, and then maybe how much that meant to you sticking around here in Baton Rouge? Um, yeah, I need to thank Sean Eddie a lot for yeah. helping me stick around. <laughs> Sean's my guy, man. It's like it's like he's like the grandpa here for me. Um, he's been with me every step of the way, literally every step. Mm -hmm. um, Was it the Auburn game that he flew from Auburn to Los Angeles to meet you for rehab yeah. out there? Yeah, he was out there with me for like, I don't remember how long, however long it was. I was, I was drugged up because of the pain. <laughs> like, uh, yeah, he was out there. He was out there every step of the way. He went out there to meet the doctor's protocols. He'd been in touch with the doctor, my whole rehab. Um, and man, like I said, he's like the grandpa. Yeah, you just always go to if you need some. You, you know, what I'm saying you, your, your quads tight, your hamstring. He knows exactly what to do. Like he's that guy. And for me, it's more than you know what I'm saying. A, a PT. He's yeah. really like. That guy, like like I said, a, like a guy for me, like sure. we got a real close relationship, and he was able to make that. Because I told him, like, I was like, Sean, you know, you're gonna have to be my best friend over this time. And he was like, <laughs> Yeah, I know, I, yeah. So, yeah, that's my guy. Uh, but the process, man, it was hard, man. But you keep getting better. But for me, I'm an overachiever, so mm -hmm. I get better, then I get upset because I'm still not where I want to be. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And it's still like that because, like, I'm probably like, like. Where I want to be, I'm probably like 75%. Yeah. Because I know I'm pro level. And I know when I have my pro level back. But I say I'm 75% where I want to be. Do you have your bounce? Do you have your, your yeah, explosion? But they, I do, but they don't They don't want me to duck yet. Uh-huh. Yeah, but, I mean, but mentally, you got it? Yeah, I could. Yeah. Um, yeah. 
So like if full, I wanted to go up there and dock, I'd you're full go. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what is the emphasis for you this summer? What are, What are you looking um, besides the health to improve on? I think for me, I have like a timeline. Like they they would still want to like hold me back, so they make sure I do everything the right way. Like I think like over the till like July, we're gonna work on just my mechanics so, to make sure it doesn't happen again. Um, like keep getting stronger, working on my cuts, working on you know, still I'm still doing my workouts, but like, 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 I don't know. Sean comes up with these drills, but it's like the little game within the game stuff. Like, mm -hmm. making sure I trust it, cutting hard, going back door and finishing stuff like that, or coming off a curl and make sure I plant and it really explode. You know what I'm saying? Or a two foot hop, making sure I explode. So stuff like that. He progresses me more and more, and we just he's like baby baby feeding me because he knows like you know what i'm saying i'm not one of those guys you just gotta push and make do something i'm gonna always give 100 percent. sure um adam miller ace wolf joining us here uh we ready over there stewie you got a couple of pictures that we can pull up i'm gonna yeah. bring up a couple of pictures here when you see the uh when you see the face when you see the person just tell me what you think about them uh we will start uh with your former teammate here uh from illinois uh <laughs> kofi coburn <laughs> Does it have to be a sentence or just... Just whatever you think. Yeah, what's first comes to mind? Baby Shaq. Baby Shaq. Uh, I took an elbow from him one practice. Come on. Ooh. Yeah, I did. Jaw? Right on Chest. the nose. Ooh. Ooh. Fell down. Right, right uh, Michigan. We played Michigan. The game we played Michigan, I, I went out. I got into it with one of our coaches, too, because they were like, get up. I'm like, did you not just see me? Get <laughs> Give me a second. <laughs> right. Like, you come take an elbow from Kofi. Right. Uh, <laughs> he, I, he's going to make it in the league, huh? I believe so. I agree. I agree. Uh, next, what you got, Stewie? Darius Days. Stacking Days. <laughs> That's my guy right there, man. You know, you know, something about him, man. He really, he really was like the like the soul of the team. Honestly, like we really went, and like if if like if we if he had a good day, we were gonna have a good day. He was really the soul of the team last year. He was that guy. Do you think he felt that? Like, did he know that he kind of, as the team went, he went? Like, every day he had to show up with that attitude? I think he did. I think he got a little overwhelming sometimes, but I think he knew. Yeah, it's a lot of pressure. Yeah. What we got next? Dubsky. <laughs> Dub, Mwani, Bounce Man. Oh, I was just talking about this yesterday because uh, Juice, uh, Justice, he was showing me a a clip he had hit KJ with the hezzy <laughs> and KZ, KJ pulled his hamstring or something like that and I was like yeah uh, one practice I hit and Wani I was going baseline and Wani's like a heat seeker I swear to God right he's coming like you as soon as it goes up he's, he's a football two player hands yeah, yeah. On the glass. <laughs> right, right. so it was one play I'm, I kid you not I faked it up I, I did some spin move on the baseline I did a 360 layup spent it and it went in off the glass I'm gonna have to find that clip. Yeah, I need yeah. that clip. <laughs> I'm gonna find I that need clip. that clip. All right, where are we going next? Um, all right, yeah, here you go. Here's Juice coming back. Justice, my boy. So those those three, you guys are the three from the nucleus of last year coming back mm -hmm. for this team. You, Justice, and Milwaukee. I'd imagine that that's good conversation between the three of y'all. Yeah, for sure. Um, shoot, they 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 were coming back before me, so it's kind of like I knew they were coming back, um, and I was like. Maybe it just, them coming back kind of made me feel a little bit like, damn, I probably could, you know what I'm saying? I could still, like, one of my, you know what I'm saying? I don't really need to go out and go anywhere, you know what I'm saying? Like, I still I could still get it done here. So uh, them coming back definitely helped me with my decision also. Did they kind of recruit you as well? Like, were they a part of, like, your decision-making process? See, in a way, I think they handled it right because they didn't really do, put a lot like, of pressure. They cool. Like, they didn't, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's how we just are with each other, like, especially with them two, like, they're probably the most chillest on the team, so you know what I'm saying they just were, they were cool about it, and I think that was also good. Like even when with the coaches, I was coming to, the, I was coming watching every workout because I'm like I want to see how the coaches are, and like you know they, it was a time where they recruited me heavy and were, you know what I'm saying we're really on it, but then there was a time where they let like chilled out and let me you know what I'm saying handle my business. So yeah. Um, <laughs> Dad, what's that uh, video? Uh, <laughs> Boot the F up. <laughs> <laughs> That's your guy, though, huh? That's my guy. Yeah. For sure, for life. That's my guy. How crazy did it get last year on that team? Like, at what, at Just what point? Just towards the end. The outside pressure. Man, 
I wasn't really even thinking about it much till we had one meeting and then they told us it was just crazy. Like Jesus Christ, they just <laughs> broke it down to us. And we were, I mean, I feel like it could have been handled a little differently, but you know what it is, what it is. It's life. Everything's a business. You know. Yeah, so. for sure. Matt McMahon, what was it like when the first time you met him, um, and how have you guys built that relationship? The first time I met him, it was like. He reminded me of a coach I had in middle school, like my 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 eighth grade coach, um, and that's one of my favorite like my favorite coach. He reminded me a lot of him, um, and I I appreciate him a lot because he like he he t- he has this word he he uses alignment and he says you know what I'm saying if you want to be the best of the best and you want to get the best out of yourself you have to have everything aligned you know what I'm saying off the court on the court school um, workouts. You know everything within those lines, and you know I kind of I'm like we, we his terms and his um an- analogies and it, everything that he believes, and I'm like you know I kind of go with that. So our, our relationship just kept gro- growing, and I kept asking him questions about Ja, and you know what I'm saying the team last year, how does he plan to see the season next season, and you know what I'm saying our relationship just kept continuing to grow. And I kept getting more comfortable. It feels like y'all have a top 25 roster going into the season without any expectation. It just feels like y'all could be very competitive. As somebody who's probably going to be a key figure of that and the, the centerpiece of the offense, mm-hmm. at least, what do you think of the roster he's put together in such a short time? You know, I think, man, I hate rankings, but I love them because they get you TV time. Mm-hmm. But, like, I think that we're going to be – I think we're going to be better than people think. I don't know because I know that – it starts, you know, from now, like we're and we're working out all together now. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't just get talent and have a good team. You have to form that team, and you have to, you know, what I'm saying you have to get the differences out. You have to bump heads sometimes. You have to work together. You have to find a way to get through a problem. You know what I'm saying? You have to problem solve together. Um, and I feel like we have that. Like, for example. And I use this on any team I'm on, like that Baylor team that year they won it. Yeah. Nobody expected them to do that. Yeah. And that was a, you know, and I always say, co- college teams that that win have veteran guards. So and we have veteran guards, and we're gonna have pieces, enough pieces to help us do what we got to do. As long as we do what we got to do, we're fine. Uh, and the final picture, maybe the key ingredient of you coming back uh, to LSU, as uh, everybody saw this come out a couple of weeks. I believe this was right before your decision, Stewie. Are we ready on this? Uh, oh, oh, for oh. Um, the, uh, the maybe the top the top recruiting guy that you had there, uh, <laughs> little Jordan Collada. Uh, you know what's crazy? <laughs> I was swarmed by like fifty kids as soon as I came home from a workout, and and your son was like, "Let me get a picture," and I didn't even know it was your son. So when you showed me the picture, I'm like. I'm glad that was the only kid I stopped to get a picture with. That was crazy. It was. And there was video of him walking up to him. He's like, Adam, are you coming back or not? <laughs> not I'm like, sure. bro, dude, yeah. chill, 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 chill. Was, they had me dancing before that. Like, on the, They were on the other side by, by Mike the Tiger, and they had me doing the gritty, all type of stuff on my way to uh, tutoring. Um, Baton Rouge feel like home yet? I mean, do you feel comfortable down here? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so what is the expectation for you this summer and the team? That's a good question. I think for me, yeah, let's talk individual first. I think for me it's just to get back to where I know I was because it was a certain time where I had caught a rhythm. For me, I can do all these, like, I'm at a certain point where, you know what I'm saying, I am who I am, but I feel like what separates most people, well, for me, is consistency and rhythm. Yeah. I have consistency and rhythm with my workouts. I'm doing it daily. I'm continuing to work my mind and grow every day that's when i'm my best and that's when i feel like i'm unbreakable you know what i'm saying so just getting back to that stacking days um and i feel like i'm gonna be fine you know what i'm saying i'm always want more so i feel like Mm -hmm. even if even if let's say i was 80 percent i'm i don't think there's really another guard in the country that can you know i'm saying keep up with my speed absolutely and i'm not just talking about like acceleration or no i hear yeah but uh for the team for me i think it is like because you know i'm saying certain things that they're going to baby feed me with, mm-hmm. like on team stuff. But I'm going to be right there with them the whole way. Did you get an idea of how competitive the SEC was, night in, night out, by, by your point of view last year? Yeah, just by watching? Man, I wanted to play in it, sure. bro. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but what, I, what do you think man, of the league? I got people on my list. <laughs> the team's on my list. Mm. 
I don't know if I should say it on air. Right yeah, you now. should, yeah, you should. drop them. Uh-uh. Nah, you I, don't <laughs> I don't want no giving real MJ I don't vibes. Want no Nick yeah. Saban smoke right now. <laughs> I don't want none of that. I'm gonna wait. That's good. Man. I'm gonna give it to you though. Later. Yeah, please. For sure. Uh, it's great to see you. Appreciate Congratulations it, you. on your decision. I know you have a team breakfast at 8:30. Mm-hmm. How's that been? The team building process with so so many new faces, new coaches. Uh, I know that, you, that there's a, a real emphasis on bringing you guys together a lot. It's been good because these are good guys. You know what I'm saying? These are guys you want to be around. You know what I'm saying? Um, not saying that any other, any other team I haven't been around hasn't had good guys, but these are like really like good guys. They, they love the game. And, uh, they love to the work. They come in and work. And you know what I'm saying? It's a battle, man. That's that's where I find out who, you know what I'm saying? Like last year, I could tell Tari was going to be good. Yeah. I didn't know he was going to be that good. <laughs> yeah, a lottery but pick, could, right. But yeah. I could tell he was going to be good because sure. when we first, when we came here, we were here to make a statement. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So, like, this is the time where I see, like, okay, I'm going to see who's going to really rock out with me. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Who's really going to make it or who's going to be that X factor. You know what I'm saying? It will be good to see number 44 back in action for LSU. That number alone, your name on the back of it, I think everybody is excited about. But you know and understand what that number means to mm-hmm. the program, I know, mm-hmm. in, in for number sure. 44. Yeah. Uh, and the number that you'll be wearing this year. Best of luck to you, bro. Appreciate Glad that. Glad to man. see you back in purple and gold. Yeah, thank uh, you. The ace. Adam Miller, Ace Wolf, back at LSU, going to be the centerpiece of the offense and a team going into the season that uh, a couple of weeks back you thought, how can they be competitive now? It looks like they'll be very competitive in the most competitive league.